As our nation reels from the latest rash of mass shootings, an inevitable question, what should you do if possibly you found yourself at the scene of one? Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob spoke with local authorities for tips on survival. It takes mere moments for our lives to change forever. We're in a complacent stage of saying we're going to enjoy ourselves, but we don't look at things differently. We think we're safe. Well, we're not guaranteed anywhere to be safe. Philadelphia Police Detective Joe Rovman specializes in counterterrorism. He's one of several officers stationed outside every Phillies game. As mass shootings continue to mount in America, how prepared are you? We know we're in the first responder community, we're, we're ready to respond, but we're not there in time. And, and the thing is that the people have to understand that you have options that you need to consider up front before it happens. Rovnin teaches run, hide, fight. If you can get out, get out. But not every scenario presents itself in that order. Figure out the option that's available to you right then and there in the event of any terroristic threat. The Phillies just installed these poles to protect pedestrians this offseason. Detective Rovnin says it takes buy-in at every level to protect you either at your office or even at large venues. Only way to defend yourself if you're one of these fans coming to the ballpark is probably just keep a lookout, you know, like you never know what can happen. We shouldn't have to live our life in fear that every time you look up, every time there's a big event, we should be afraid to go out. We just can't, we have to keep living. Familiarize yourself with the places you're in. Are there locks on the doors? Can you jam them in the event of a shooter? Where are exits? Most important, replacing complacency with competency. And don't say not my town, USA. Sometimes you think about where this is all occurring. There's no one specific venue that it occurs. It could happen anywhere. Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And stay with CBS 3 Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of these two latest mass shootings. And you can always find updates on CBSPhilly.com.